what can we look forward to in the show? Uh, we are sort of going off of the trilogy of books uh, mm. written by Justin Cronin. As far as what we did in the pilot, I think we stayed pretty true to, to uh, uh, the first what happens in the first quarter of the first book. Um, we haven't seen a second script yet. We haven't started shooting, so there's not much information that I could tell you beyond because we're talking out of my bum uh, if I did that. So, but uh, everyone knows kind of what the show's about. Yes, so I don't have to give you the uh, long. Yeah. yeah. Um, Amy Belfonte. Had to scare in three words. He doesn't think it's, I mean, you know. Anyways, Mike Paul. Three words. She's a bad girl. She's still a little girl. And it's up to her to save the world. And that's what I'm all about, man. <laughs> yeah. Seven words. <laughs> <laughs> so that shooting and scene, was that actually you shooting the, in the carnival there? <laughs> Something called movie magic. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yes and no. Uh, he taught me how to like really hold, hold a gun, gun. <laughs> but um, that was all real instruction. Yeah, in just shooting it. It was like you know. I was it, where I say, oh, you're left-handed. That was actually a real. Yeah, because I was like, and he was like, oh, you're. Oh, wow. Yeah, Because yeah. I'm left-handed, so he was like, oh, you're left-handed, and I was like. <laughs> so how to like? They actually kept that in the. Yeah, so how to like oh, switch okay. over or like you know at first I was doing right and I was like doing it wrong so then I switched over and he was like oh you're left-handed and I was like yeah so you know I did it and then I you know knew how to really hold it for real <laughs> and it was it was fun. <laughs> then he let this guy like actually knock him down for you. <laughs> <laughs> but just behind there, just down, like. <laughs> There's, so there's so much in the story that is really appealing to pretty much everyone. What drew you guys to the project? Um, I first got the script and I knew that Liz Heldens had taken me a crack at it and it was unbelievable. Uh, this has been a, a, a piece of property that I've been around for years with Ridley and Matt Reeves trying to adapt it into a film and then reading Liz's uh, Liz's version I was like oh my god like she really did it she was able to to make this into a TV show uh, and I had worked with Ridley and um, Scott Free before and knew the operation and I uh, was just excited I knew I knew how epic they would tell this tale so I was excited to just be a part of the pedigree um, and then once I knew that there was a there was an opportunity for me to play the part I read the books and just fell in love with the books and you know, became a fanboy how much of your performance did you draw out of the books all of it. <laughs> I think all of it. It's it's very rare as an actor that you're given the blueprints to your character. Um, you know, to have the author come to the set yeah. and explain to you how he came up with the character, what he was thinking when he was when he was writing the character, and then to give you the blessing. Right. And he did it so, to you as well to say, you know what, you're my Amy, you're my Brad. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't. Amy, when I play her, it's, I mean, you can't say, I have some things that I take from the book that I'm like, okay, this is Amy, but when I play Amy, I play her from my heart, and I'm like, I'm not going to focus on, oh, she did this, or she's like this, so I need to be like that, I need to, I need to be shy, or I need to, I need to um, be scared of everyone or something, um, I can play her in a different way, we know, I know what she's about, and then how she is, but you know, do it for my heart. Um, but like Mark Bell said, being able to have the blessing from Justin Cronin. I mean, I'm so close to Justin now that it's like, I love him so much. It's just like, he gave us the blessing. Like, Is he in your favorites? He's in my favorites. <laughs> I'm not even in your favorites. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but it's just like, um, like he said, giving you the blessing to be able to just pass it over. It's just like, oh my gosh, thank you. Wow. And it kind of just gave us a relief. Like, oh. As he accepts us. And that's a big deal to just be able to say, hey, you're my Amy. Like, no one else could come between that. And it's like, wow. 
was there a sequence when you were shooting the pilot where for both of you uh -huh. working together where you really felt now we really know our characters we really got a connection between the characters I connected to Amy the first time the first time I got the job um, it was like my body knew like hey about to take some like girl inside of you about like just make sure like when it's time to shoot she comes out you know but um, when I first got the job I was like wow like and then when I finally went on set and I realized wardrobe and everything, when you have everything on and when you're just this whole new person, it's like, wow, <laughs> this is really a different experience. And I am someone that I've never been before. I've never done this, I've never done that. But she's she's part of me. Amy's a part of me, for sure. So we all know that as part of your arc, uh, Mark, you kind of become a surrogate father, big yeah. brother figure. <laughs> yeah. And even sitting at this table, I think you guys exhibited some of that kind of chemistry. How quickly did you guys gel? I'm like, was it instant or no? Describe. <laughs> I when I first met Mark Paul, I was like, hey, like I didn't really. <laughs> sadly, I was like, no, he's cool. Like, yeah. but then over time, I was like. I couldn't get enough. <laughs> um, I have a young daughter, same age as Sanaya, and uh, so I could relate to the character quite a bit. But also, we had the uh, uh, we were fortunate enough to film the show in a sort of linear fashion. And so while we were filming uh, the scenes, we were able to develop our character uh, so that by the time we shot that scene at the river which is we were, sort of a uh, really, very important scene yeah. sort of a, uh, we were close yeah we were we were at that point in, our, in real life yeah. pretty cool okay last question what are you guys looking forward to um, going forward in the series um, years and years of coming to Comic Con, <laughs> yeah, promoting the seeing past you guys. Well, you come back to San Diego because you used to film here. That's right. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming, no, it's uh, seeing all of y'all. You know, the, the whole goal of doing television is like you just hope that it it finds an audience and that you can just on most jobs, and I think most actors do have the right intentions. You just you, you're on a show that you really enjoy being uh, around with the people and. and the material and you just want to do it for a long time yeah right you want to do this until you're in college right <laughs> sorry <laughs> I have something in my throat <laughs> of course, <I> do. <laughs> of course. Cool. thank you so much thank you, thank you. Thank you guys you guys are awesome